Now this is CNN News 18's mega exclusive Nasrullah speech which we heard uh, earlier in the day was cryptic and threatened regional war is the word coming in. CNN News 18 actually accessed the intel assessment of the speech given by Nasrullah. Now according to the intel assessment, it is a religious fatwa and not a military order at all. Though he gave a formal approval for action but left it up to the military echelons to decide on the timing to escalate. The timing is going to come when they feel Israel is sufficiently weakened to not be able to respond to a huge missile attack against them. According to the assessment, we are also learning that they may first use Houthis and other militias to cause distraction and damage and wait until Israel is more in Gaza. According to the assessment, we are also learning is that Hamas is not yet desperate for help. We have CNN News 18's Abhishek Jha. Abhishek, could you just uh, break uh, break down these details that we have just received about Nasrullah's speech? What were the key takeaways from that speech that he made first and then the intel assessment that we have accessed? Well, Nasrullah's speech uh, was much awaited because uh, we have seen in the past uh, few days there have been uh, apparently reports of Nasrullah, uh, the Hamas leader and uh, other leaders meeting in Lebanon also to coordinate the action that has started uh, from the Israeli side in the wake of 7th of October's uh, terrorist attack on Israel. We have also seen Nasrallah claiming 100% that the attack on 7th of October was 100% done by the Palestinian side and uh, they are uh, the Hamas, which uh, Israel and many uh, European countries consider and uh, list them as a terrorist organization. Nasrallah claims that these are the resistance forces who have been trying to fight the occupational uh, government of that is uh, referring to Israel. Uh, but how the Nasrallah and his Hezbollah are going to coordinate whether they will, uh, you know, up their strike against Israeli forces in the region, that remains, uh, you know, shrouded in uh, some, you know, uh, indirect way of his speech because Nasrallah did not directly hint that whether he is going to uh, enter the war like the Houthis in Yemen who have all, all this announced that they have entered the war and they are going to support the Hamas. But Nasrullah has remained very uh, cryptic in his uh, language and he has said that uh, if he enters the war, which uh, will, it, it will be detrimental for the Lebanese and uh, USA will get an opportunity to bomb Lebanon and Iran and other parts of the uh, region as well. Uh, but at the same time, they have, he has also referred that uh, they are not scared of uh, US forces' presence in the Mediterranean Sea and their mm. warships and if they would wish, they would enter and they can attack and defend themselves. So this, this is what the sense uh, was from the Nasrullah. All right, Abhishek, we'll request you to please stay with